me tell y'all something. Leave Kwame Brown alone. I don't know if y'all know, but you could do a little research. Kwame Brown was born in Charleston, South Carolina. I don't think I've ever met Kwame, but I know a lot of his family. His family lived in Moss Corner, South Carolina. His father's name was Willie Brown. I don't know how many kids Willie Brown had. I don't know how many siblings Kwame Brown got, but I went to school with his sister, and I went to school with one of his his brothers. Let me tell y'all something. Kwame's father in the 90s, I remember this story. He beat a woman with an axe handle. It was his girlfriend. And the rumor was he buried her alive. He buried her in the area that I grew up in, if I remember correctly. I've been trying to call my dad since yesterday to, to, to confirm the whole story because I literally forgot about this until yesterday. But the, the woman died and he got arrested. Uh, if he's still alive, he's in prison for life because he got caught because he left South Carolina after the murder and came back for his paycheck. Let me tell you something else. His other brother, I don't know if him and Kwame were close. But his other brother shot his baby mama several times and then killed himself. That was like in 08. And his other brother, Kwame's other brother, just went to jail for murder like three years ago. All of this you can Google. I'm saying all that to say, leave Kwame leave alone. Him. That man has alone. been quiet for 20 years. He don't bother nobody. Clearly all that, you know, all, all that he's a bust stuff gets to him. And you don't know what people are going through or have been through. But I've seen folks snap for less. And it looks like, you know, Kwame is snapping. And if you look at the history of men and his family, you would know his, his men and his family have a history of snapping. Leave Kwame.